Is that it then? Eh? You're just packing it all in. Sitting here and drowning your uh, what's it's in a can of ale. You're pathetic. Thanks. You're not even rising to that. No point. You're right. So, have you found a just cause or impediment then? Don't worry, I'll stop your wedding. I'll be standing there in the church and something will hit me. Ah, it'll be me if you don't find a good enough reason to stop me and Lisa getting wed. Hey! How about a sex test? What? Do you mean to see if she's any good? What? Do you ever see without a flat cap or a boiler suit? Think, Dad. Who's the fastest pint swallower? Lisa. Strongest? Lisa. Is the boss. Wears the trousers once, you know, all the time. Because she's a bloke. Problem solved. Daft. I'm off. It's not too late, you know, Lisa. If it's Zack that you really love. He doesn't love me. But what about Albert? Do you love him? He treats me like a lady. He makes me feel desirable. And I'm not getting any younger. I really need glasses for welding these days. Oh, I were a lot older than... Well, I was a bit older than you when Seth came back into my life. I can't hang around waiting for a Seth Armstrong to sweep me off my feet. I need a man. And Albert's there. Do you know what? I reckon he always will be. Hey, I'm guessing, lad. Oh, Jack. So then, Zach, bride to be, what's she like? Girl, I'm not sure I'm the man to ask, Lily. Is she pretty? Ah, answer, you know. I never thought you'd get over Nelly enough to marry again. Living over brush fine, but. Whoa, whoa, hang on. It's Albert getting wed, not me. Albert? Oh, Barrington! Have you got a pen? Just got to the wedding. Oh. You the best man then? Apparently not. Oh, Marlon. No, I could have sworn our man. He said it you, living with this Lisa. Mind you, I felt it up here. Do you know, I've been having premonitions ever since our Barrington rewound my hair dryer. Didn't always make sense, though. Barrington? Why is he keeping the gym these days? Oh, Dad, wherever you are, forgive me for this. Open police. Yes, that's right, sir. Can I have your name? No, you can't have my name. Just listen. There were there were a robbery in Emmerdale in June. Ah, ah, that's it. Ah, that one. On Main Street. Right, well, the bloke who did it. Well, Albert Dingle. Ah, that, why one of them Dingles? Ah. Well, you can find him at Robblesfield Church at half past two this afternoon. Ah, and for once in your lives, don't be late. Come here. Right. Let's get married. Right here, right now. Daft. So, when? When you can afford a better ring. <laughs> you are after my money. Seriously, Steve. It's too soon after Frank. Well, since when have you cared what the people think? It's not other people. Well, it is. 
I just want everyone to realise that this is serious, not just, you know. I bet you're not gonna like my other suggestion either. What? I was gonna say, it's pointless keeping two houses. So you want me to move in with you? How sweet. I'd show people you were serious. <laughs> I think certifiable's a word. Oh no, you moving into Home Farm would not be a good idea. All right. As long as I can have visiting rights to see my ring. go to a wedding where all the rest of the guests are pond life. Well, it's coming to someone to tell you, learn when they invite you to add a touch of class. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I don't have to live next door to the all-night party. I understand it's being planned. Thank you very much. Bye, Eck. You're a big un. Tallulah Dingle. My friends call me Lulu. And uh, this is Ned Glover. His wife calls him, hey, you! <laughs> <laughs> what were your hands doing, Ned? Oh, Kenny, she spotted you for a brain surgeon straight away. I'm psychic, love, you know. I mean, you, well, let's look. Oh, you've got florists written all over you. <laughs> <laughs> right again, love. Hey, what about Big Al here? Is he going to be lucky in love? This is a talent not to be abused, young man. People pay good money for predictions like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to have them? I'll do you a reading in return for a round, love. Uh, I don't think so. Suit yourself. But I'll tell you this for now. That lass of yours, she's not what you think. You're in for a nasty shock. I'll bear that in mind. So big, lad. Fancy a party tonight. Me, you, and Agadu. It's a match made in heaven. And you don't need to be psychic to see that. Three pints of lager, please. Going to the church any time. Going to become Mrs. Albert Dingle. Jack. Look, just said a word and I'll call it off. That what you said to my Nelly and all? Oh, Jack, I want you to know about me and Nelly. That were not personal. You seduced my wife. How much more personal can you get? Well, it was complicated. I was skint and you just bought that new drum kit. Well, I came round to... Well, borrow it. How would I to know Nelly were having a bath that day? You're all art, Dad. Come on. I can't even get him to put me in hospital. I must be losing my touch. Give me a good funeral any day. There's something so final about weddings. Seth Armstrong, for once in your life, you've said something sensible. Oh, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Now, you take your time getting her to church, because I've got something to do. Eh? Mission of mercy. He, by it, you look very, uh, white. Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Only I, I couldn't wear the other one, not after what we said. You look fine. It's only high, Ed. Listen, when Albert sees you walking down the aisle looking like that, he'll be the proudest man on earth. Come on, Biff, lad, give us a hand. Right. <coughs> Thanks. All right. Thank you, Biff. Okay. Oh, can you? Mind your oh, I'm sorry. Biff, oh. I'm so sorry. Give us your flowers, right. darling. I'll try this one. Uh, Careful, mind me bail. Yeah. yeah. Watch your head. Uh, I'm going to try to get up. Oh, better shift this French stuff before the VAT man sees it. Yes, love. Oh, blimey. I didn't recognise you. You look like one of those uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, with a briefcase. I think you'll wish I was. It's not a VAT man coming to see you today. It's a woman. Me. One, see, 
well up to date. What can I get you, Eric? Uh, confetti. You're not going, are you? <laughs> My wife is looking forward to the quaint English custom of dingle wedding and punch-up. Morning. Any sign of Dracula yet? Dracula? He means yeah. the Batman, Mr Windsor. <laughs> Expecting a visit. Rather him than me, say I. Blood-sucking job's worse than a lot of them. Keep digging, Eric. Sorry? For VAT man, read VAT woman. For VAT woman, meet Miss... Stedman. Ah, that was you. You ride a motorbike and wear leather trousers. And eat cheating businessmen for breakfast. Or, uh, yes, even lunch. Just snacks until night-time, when the blood-sucking really starts. Shall we get on, Mr Windsor? Uh, thought you weren't coming. Funny. I'd hope the same about you. Did your dad send you? Your Uncle Albert's inside waiting. I'll see you sometime. Are you going to give us an hand? No. Unlike some, I've still got me pride. Oi. It's right, you know. There's never one around when you want one. Taxis, helicopters, aliens to abduct you. Police. Police? I rang them up when I confessed to that burglary. Why? So did flipping turn up and arrest me. That's why I've got to stop this wedding somehow. But you, you'll get like three years. Better than a life sentence. Because I used to love her. But it's all over now. No wonder they say rock and roll's dead. Are you really giving her up this easy? It's her choice, Betty. She chose him. But it's you she wants. Fine way of showing it. Do you think I've taken the trouble to come all the way around here if she hadn't sobbed her heart out to me, telling me that it was you she loved? Why is she marrying him? I used to wonder where your Sam got his brains from. Now I know. He took yours. That if either of you know any impediment, why ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as are coupled together, otherwise, and God's word doth allow, are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. I do! Pardon? Throw in your voice. Brilliant, son, I didn't know. You were me. I said I do! You should be on stage. Yes. Who's that? It's her husband. Ex-husband? She's too good for him. Too good for any dingle. I'm sorry, this is quite ridiculous. No, no, he's right. Who is? I left to sit down, I'm getting right confused. It's got to be a lawful impediment. Bigamy, that sort of thing. She's still married to me, then? No, I'm not. Well, he ought to be. So she's not. You were a real man, Albert Dingle. You'd have torn his head off his shoulders for saying that. Hi, Zack Wood. Can we continue with this marriage? This whole thing is getting... Uh, and I don't suppose there are any coppers outside when you came in, Mother. I'm not accepting your objection, sir. Will you sit down? No. Barrington! Aaron! On Thank you. Right. 
Albert Ezekiel Dingle, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife? Lisa, don't do it! Oh, flaming hell. You look a bit down. I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. It's not surprising. Two jobs, thank you. Joseph. You're still a kid, Rachel. You need to get yourself a life. I wish I had the time. Why don't you give Chris more responsibility for Joseph? I mean, they've got a nanny up at home farm to start with. I don't want him brought up by a nanny, and I certainly don't want him at home farm, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm starting to sound like Annie. I must have spent too much time around her in Spain, trying to organise everybody's lives. <laughs> she is remarkable, though. Even thousands of miles away, she doesn't miss a trick. What do you mean? Oh, you know. All the little questions. Couldn't Jack spare a few days to be with us? Was there something wrong between us? And what did you say? I told her all about Andy, how that had caused a few problems. But everything's all right between you now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have our ups and downs, but we're together for the duration. You don't love him, then? Zach, it's always been you. I thought you didn't love me. The way you ignored me and lusted after that Becky Cairns. Oh, she's not a real woman. Can she weld? Can she lay concrete? Them's not womanly things, Zach. I know, but you've got all the womanly thing is. More than any woman I've ever known. Oh, Zach. And you were going to bestow him on the man who tried to steal my drums and what's it in my Nelly? Oh, well, if you're just trying to get back at him. It's not the past I'm thinking about, it's the future. Our future. Me and they. Together. Forever. Lisa, my love. Will you marry me? Oh, Zach. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Miss Stedman? Yes? All that talk in the pub. Oh, yes. Customs dodging, wasn't it? Yeah, but, you know, that's all it was, you know, pub talk. You mean between friends? Exactly. No, it's more like a, a bloke uh, and a bird lady, uh, you know, is trying to chat up, trying to, trying to impress. Mm, I did get that feeling, yes, but I thought, seeing as you and Alan are friends, I thought, well, you wouldn't be trying it on with me. Ah. So it must be true. <laughs> Can't win either way, can I? If you have to choose between trying to muscle in on a friend's woman and defrauding customs and excise, stick to the embarrassing, not the criminal. Yeah. <clears throat> right. No, no, Mr Dingle, of course you can't get married in your brother's place. For a start, the bans need to be read. And I'm not sure I could approve even then. Oh, come on, Vicar, be a sport. Can't you see? They love each other. If I can live with it, you can. Oh, Albert, you are a sweetheart. <laughs> it's been reception's off. Ha. Do you know, if the world were coming to an end, the Dingles would want to know where the farewell knees up was going to be. So romantic. <laughs> Got an idea. If this is a just cause or impediment now, you'll be wearing your bits uh, for a bobble hat. No, no, listen. Who needs Mr Dog Colour? We could have a ceremony of our own. They'd be married in the eyes of the Dingles. I still don't like it. You're a gay man. I'll you give you that. Replace a church wedding with some family farrago. Have you got any other ideas then? I could bless the relationship. It's not, of course, the same as marriage legally. What do you reckon, Mouth Apple Pie? Oh, yeah. Hey. Of course, I would have to charge. Get but... out, you cheeky beggar. I'm still waiting for a refund. You didn't finish our ceremony. Go on, we'll have it. <laughs> I'd like cash. Up front. Mm. On me, Zach. Of course, could always do it out here. Give it a proper country feel. Well, why can't we have it in there? Actually, I've got a funeral at four. The Virgin needs to get the church ready. Oh. All right, yeah, yeah, go on then. Mm. I'd just like to say that I wholeheartedly approve. 
Higher. Got it. What, your wages plus the 200 quid? Mm, that's a tax off the extra. Yeah, but you're still loaded. And in the mood to celebrate? Great. Party here tomorrow night, before the return of the Wrinklies. Yeah, fantastic. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face... Hang on a minute. <laughs> We're not going to start all this again, are we? If he's going to object, then so am I. No, no, look! Oh, that's typical. Oh, heck. Okay. Now then, Daddy. What are you after? I'm looking for your Albert. Well, we got a what? Marlon, me. There's a... Zachariah in, we got a what, a Barrington, Aaron, who else is a Leopold, uh, Ephraim, John. John? Adopted. No Albert? No, sorry. You will tell him I was looking for him, won't you? Albert? So you give Marks and Spencer's a miss then. <laughs> what do you say? No, oh, just wishing a look, that's all, brother. Just wishing a look. <laughs> Big? Pine? Pine? I'm not sure I'll ever drink in here again. I told you something funny with your ale, didn't I? I take it you are going to explain. Hmm? Miss Josephine Stedman? Joe? What about her? Have you ever asked what she does for a living? Well, if you're sharing my pillow, that's not the first thing I'd want to ask her. She's a VAT inspector! Forget that point. Give us a scotch. Make it a large one. I think he wants it on the house. Hey, it was us who bought that big fat fire. I want that to my psychic powers in future. You just tell him who this wedding present was made out to. Hey, a deep fat fryer. That'll be grand. Thanks, Lou. Hey, now, Zach Dingle. There's been no wedding, there'll be no wedding present. I just thought you ought to know the time. You know, there's two things that are puzzling me. Who called the police? And what was Albert up to in your wedding dress? Oh, it was my dad who's called the police. Huh? Why would he want to do that? Well, if we're being honest, uh, you don't want to get married to you. What? Uh, with that burglary on his conscience, he wanted to wipe the slate clean before the wedding. You know. <coughs> Uncle Zach, I found this letter for you. Dear Dad, you are a compost. Complete, complete prat. <laughs> Better than being a compost. Mm. Let in Lisa marry that Marlon. Moron. <laughs> Lisa sh Shod, you mean Shod here, uh. have been my new mam, not that Albert. So I am leaving home forever, your son Francis Albert Dingle. Ah, uh, Butch. <laughs>